In this video, we're going to contrast how you compile and run your code in Java, the way you did it in CSE 205 and earlier, and then how you're going how you're going to edit, compile, and run your C code in CSC 240. So in Java, you would just open up Eclipse. From inside Eclipse, you would edit your code, save your code, compile and run your code. Everything was done inside Eclipse. In C, we're going to do things a little differently. First, you're going to edit your code using an editor. And that editor can be anything you choose as long as it saves text files. So something like Visual Studio Code is a great choice, Notepad++, Vim, whatever your particular choice is, anything will work. Even Notepad will work, although you may prefer something else that has more features, but it would work. Then you're going to save your code somewhere on your computer, on the file system. Then you have to navigate to that location. And from there, you'll compile and link your code. We'll use GCC to compile our C code. And then that generates an executable that then will get run. So let's first do a real quick overview of how that works in Java. And then we'll see how it works in C. So I've already created a sample project. So then I'm going to select New and Class. And that gives me the option here on the my class sample class, and I'll have it automatically generate a main method for me. So that's a nice feature of Eclipse. And I don't want this to do much. This will just be a simple Hello World program. Now, I don't actually explicitly have to save. It turns out when you hit the play button in Eclipse, it's going to save your file and run it. But I could also select file and save and it do the same thing. When I run my code, that's compiling and running. It's, it's compiling now, and then when it runs, I didn't actually tell it to do anything. So let's actually do some output so that we can tell that it actually compiles and runs. And there you can see it does. The specific editor you use is really up to you. For this example, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code because I like it. It has good syntax highlighting. It also has really nice interaction with Git. And so I use it a lot for doing stuff for CSC 240. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I'll save it in ddevel example. So that's the drive where it's saved. And then I saved it as untitled one dot text. So that was a bad thing to do. So let me save it as hello.c. And for save as type, you might want to, in this case, I can save it as the type. You can also just use all files here, and then Windows will let you type whatever extension you want. So I'll do hello.c. So now I have a hello.c file. If I look in File Explorer, I'll be able to see this. So there's the untitled one that's no good. I want to get rid of that. But then you can also see hello.c is here. So let me type my code. And so you can see I have nice syntax highlighting with Visual Studio Code. Again, all of this is up to you, how the at what editor you pick and so forth. Your specific editor, of course, may be different. So now that I've written this file out, I need to make sure I save it. And now it's out there on the file system. So if I double click on this, it'll bring it up in my default editor, which is Vim. And you can see there's the, the code. So now what I need to do, I've saved my file, I need to compile it. I'm going to do this going back to the terminal. And let me move this up here. I'll shrink this down just so that we can see the file, the files that show up here. So when I open Ubuntu on Windows or Sigwin, or this also is true on Mac OS, but depending on how your setup is, it may be a little bit differently. You open up in a home folder. And that home folder is not where I want to be. I want to find this hello.c program. Now I happen to know that this is stored on my D drive in the devel example directory. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change to the D drive. And on Ubuntu, that's under a folder called MNT slash the drive letter. And then I'll CD, that stands for change directory, to devel an example. Now you can see it tells me that I'm at devel example. Again, your terminal may or may not do this. That can be different. If you want to know if you're in a, a Linux terminal 
and you want to know where you are, if you do PWD, that stands for print working directory. And that shows that I'm in mount, which means I'm in one of the drives D I'm on the D drive slash develop slash example. So I'm in that folder and I can do LS to get a listing of the files and you can see it says hello.c. So that's the same file that I saved here. In fact, let me move this over just so that we can see some more of that file. I'll do the same here. That way we're kind of getting it all in one, one window. Now to actually compile that file, what I need to do is type GCC. Then I'm going to have a couple of options. So dash dash STD equals C11. That tells it I want to use the C11 standard from 2011. That's the most recent C standard. Then dash W all. So dash W stands for warnings. All says I want you to give me all the warnings. If the compiler sees anything questionable with my code, I want it to tell me. And then pedantic, which also does a little more checking that everything is standard compliant. So those are the options. And now I'm, I want to give it the file I want to compile, which is hello.c. Now when I press enter, nothing happens, right? So when you go to compile your code in Eclipse, right, you just hit the button and your code runs. But it's a little different with C, but you'll also notice there's this file a.out that's shown up. So I need to run a.out. Now, again, there's a little bit of a trick here with Linux. I can't just type a.out and have the command run. It says command not found. I have to tell it that it's in the current directory. So I do dot slash a.out. And so there you can see hello world. Now notice I'm missing a new line at the end. So I put in a new line character. Now I can recompile this. One nice thing about a command line is I can up arrow through my previous commands to find my compile statement. I can run that again, and then I can go up until I see a.out again, and there's hello world. So that's a quick introduction to compiling and running code in C, comparing it to how it contrasts with what you saw with Java. So again, a lot of what I did here may be different for you, depending on what editor you choose, depending on what terminal you're using, whether it's SIGWIN, Mac OS, or even uh, if it's Linux. But the idea is ultimately the same. You want to edit your code in an editor, save it somewhere, and then from the terminal, change to the directory where you saved your code, and then compile it with GCC, then run it.